Hello and welcome to week 40 of Beloved Blackness. I'm Dr. B and it's been two months since I have come to you with a weekly vlog and let me explain something to you. Audre Lorde says, caring for myself is not self-indulgence, it is self-preservation and that is an act of political warfare. Now that's what I have to explain, is what that quote means and why I have taken two months off from this vlog, which I absolutely love um, offering. And I also love myself. And so in January, I, um, during MLK weekend, offered a three-day trauma training specifically dealing with the impact of the Ma'afa upon people of African descent. And so if you follow Beloved Blackness, you already know what the Ma'afa is. Great disaster um, and destruction beyond human comprehension and convention, referencing the impact of the transatlantic enslavement trade and all that that has come um, as a result of that in terms of anti-Blackness and systemic oppression and um, white supremacy dominations, many manifestations within the African descended community. And so preparing for that training as well as offering that training took a lot of energy. Um, mental energy, physical energy, spiritual energy, and I needed time to refresh and to be able to um, come back um, to what felt like a grounded sense of myself, to be able to think about and talk about um, this topic of beloved blackness, um, where my well didn't feel as if it was on empty, because it felt like it was on empty around these um, conversations for some time, and I needed to be replenished. And so here I am, feeling replenished and um, ready to um, reconnect with those who find um, this particular platform useful in terms of thinking about who we are as people of African descent. So thank you to Sister Audre Lord for that quote because I engaged in political warfare uh, with taking the last two months off. I want to invite those of you who are in Southern California to um, participate and consider participating in the Pasadena Altadena launch of the Emotional Emancipation Circles. Let me tell you a little bit about the, the EECs of the Emotional Emancipation Circles. So they are the brainchild of Enola Aird, who is the founder of the Community Healing Network. And she partnered with the Association of Black Psychologists. And at the time, Dr. Cheryl Grills was the national chairperson of ABCI. And in their partnership, they developed a curriculum that's specifically around dealing with how we have internalized internalized our oppression. And so um, the EECs or the Emotional Emancipation Circles are surf circles that are specifically for Black people to have a safe space to talk about the impact of racial stress, to learn about stress, to learn about who we are in terms of our cultural heritage and tradition. And it's a curriculum that's a grounding and understanding who we are as people of African descent. And so guess what? Prototypes, as well as All Saints Church, Pasadena, have partnered together and are launching in the next eight weeks, beginning today, Friday, February 28th, the Emotional Emancipation Circles. So if you're in the area, they're free. They're on Fridays from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m in the form of All Saints Church. And we will be creating a safe space, a space for people to know that there's a sense of belonging, a safe space to know that we can talk about things that oftentimes we aren't able to talk about um, in other settings, but also a space where you're gonna learn tools to be able to manage your stress, to be able to tools, to be able to manage the negative um, internalized messages that we've all um, had to hear and have incorporated in terms of how we view ourselves or view our community or view our people. And so the, the the saying that um, is expressed through the curriculum is the EECs are set up for us to defy the lie of black inferiority and white superiority. And so if you're in the area, come on out to the EECs again launching tonight, February 28th. 5.30 to 7.30 at All Saints Church Pasadena in the forum. And it's a partnership with Prototypes and All Saints Church um, Pastoral Care and Healing Ministry. And we're excited to get these circles launched and trusting that this will be only the inaugural launching of circles and that there will be um, a continuation of them um, for years to come. All right, so we're defining the lie of black inferiority and white superiority and learning to care for ourselves because that caring in and of itself is an act of political warfare and we are worthy and deserving of that care. All right, until next week.